Ahoy, ragamuffins! Jamie here, and thank you so much for joining me for today's movement session. Today is day one of the Jump for Joy movement program, follow along program. So what we're gonna be doing is combining jump rope exercises with some exercises with weights. So I don't have my mat out today. Um, yeah, most of them are standing. I'm going to give plenty of variations for the jump rope. Even if you don't have a jump rope, um, we can like pretend and do the moves anyway with the jump rope. Low impact, um, you don't need to jump. We're gonna be doing five jump rope moves, five weighted moves. So 10 moves, three times, 30 seconds, uh, 15 second rest break, but you know your body better than I do. Take a break, any, any time, 10 seconds and we're gonna get ready to warm up. So make sure you have your jump rope nearby, your weights nearby, and we will get ready to get started. Starting with a squat to a hip opener. So maybe we kind of roll or like move our groin a little bit. Ah, open up. I, my hip needed to be open a little bit. So rolling maybe my right shoulder, my left shoulder. So I get a little bit of that groin and roll shoulders back. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Just warming up the body. I just came from a seated position. Uh, prolonged seated position, so <laughs> this always feels nice. Now we're gonna come into joggers. So joggers can be here, joggers can be here, or a little bit lifting up those legs. Uh, I, I usually do the programming of, I was doing the programming for another program before uh, this, so before filming. So I don't know why you needed to know that. All right, 10 seconds, <laughs> jogs, you can come up and back. You can be here, you can add some quickness if you'd like, and reverse lunge to front kicks. So tap back to knee lift, tap back to knee lift, or tap back to a kick, tap back to a front kick, or reverse lunge, kick it out. Both knees are bending, black pants is probably not the best thing to wear with a black background, noted down and kick. So tap, kick or knee lift, tap, kick or knee lift. Windmills coming forward and hinging up. So windmills can be here, adding in a little bit of that rotation. Windmills can be here. Windmills can be here, hinging at the hip and then rotating to that right foot, rotating to that left foot, coming back all the way up to a stand. And now we're gonna come into forward and back arm rotation. So as we have these arm movements here, maybe you take them one at a time. Maybe you roll out your ankles a little bit while we're doing this. Bring them forward, rolling out ankles maybe one at a time. I was really excited I found this shirt Something had fallen to the back of my drawer and a, a client got it for me. It's a dino corn. Dinosaur and a unicorn mixed together. That was fun. All right, butt kicks coming back, pulling back. You, you act as if your knees are parallel to the ground. So option one can be here. Option two, you can pull it back a little quicker, add some arms. Option three, here. So, like I said, I'm gonna be giving lots of variations for the jump rope, but if you do not have a jump rope, if you wanna just hold on to the handles too, you, or like the handle to kind of get the wrist motion, that's um, cool too. Side to side jumps. So here, we can just pretend, that's what I'm doing, pretending that we have the rope. We're kind of hopping side to side. So this is gonna be the variation for a lot of the exercises. I mean, I'm gonna show you the steps that we're gonna do with the jump rope, but you can always come back to this. I mean, you do not have to do the hands, but um, you know, it's kind of fun. It gets you, gets you a little in it. All right, so circuit one, we're gonna be doing three circuits. So all these exercises, I think there's 10, we're gonna be doing um, them three times. So we have about 20 seconds. We're gonna grab our weights, starting out with hammer curls. So two hammer curls, lifting up, to two presses, lifting up here. So you can do this alternating, and we're gonna start in five. Each one is gonna be 30 seconds. 
and one. So lifting up here, two hammer curls, two presses. Let's say you're really feeling like, ooh, I wanna do four hammer curls, four presses, or I, I, I really wanna work on my presses. We're gonna be doing three rounds of this, so make it your own. Um, hammer curls, my thumbs are up. <sighs> body is stable and lifting up and lowering the weights down and then I lift up for the press exhale and lifting down now we're gonna come into a side to side jump so I'm gonna be using my jump rope here side to side first I'm gonna show you without the rope side to side 30 seconds and one so option one option two Option three, if you're feeling side to side. So you're coming right and left, like you're hopping over, I don't know, a bug. <laughs> that was the first thing that came to mind. So, da 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 All right, lunge to squat, grabbing the weight. I'm gonna grab center here, holding it center. We're gonna come down into a squat, into a lunge, into a squat, into a lunge. Now, you may notice on the um, written out versions or the titles of these that it says L or J, and that's lift or jump rope. <laughs> so, vary the depth. You can be here, step back, step back. You can be here, step back, step back. You can be here, up. All right, 15 seconds. Now we're gonna come into runners. All right, so runners without the rope or with the rope is gonna look like this, like a quick run. Ta, 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 ta. With the rope, See, I gotta do it before I can explain it. <laughs> so it's right, left, right, left. You see, you're hardly moving your wrists. Like, your wrists are kind of going with the motion of the, of the rope, but it's not a big motion here. And break. All right, deadlift to upright row. Oh, I'm gonna have to add my, um, I didn't even measure you all. I'll tell you how to measure yourself for jump rope. Jamie, I'll do that next day two. Be expecting that day two. Deadlift, knees are soft, rolling shoulders back. Hinging like you're closing a drawer with your bottom. And then lifting up to that upright row. Feet are about shoulder width apart. We're painting our legs down. Coming up nice and strong. Upright row. Down and lift. So, if I want to hit this wall with my bottom, there's where I'm going to be at the deadlift. That was a little far, but <laughs> all right, up and backs. So, up and backs without the rope. I'll show you without the rope first. Up and back. Up and back, okay? So, without the rope, you're here stepping up, low impact with the rope. You're here. All right, I'm going to add it. Up back so another thing with this is you can add this is uh, not low impact what do I want to call it like step step you can also add it in like a jump form so up and back and jump form I'm jumping up and back if you don't like kind of that step up step back weighted sumo squat so I'm gonna take my weights here they're gonna be at my side Toes out, knees out, knees aligned with toes, rolling shoulders back, knees are aligned, coming down, you determine the depth. Remember, we're doing each of these three times, but we have a 30 second break in between each circuit. Pushing through midfoot heels as we come up, all the way up to stand. Down, slowly lower. That's something that I always have to remind myself of too. My body wants to like come down and sit. <laughs> you gotta control that lowering. And 
lift. Good. Ooh, jumps. We got just regular jumps. So maybe this can be like a free choice. You can be here, you can skip with the rope, three jumps. Or you can be maybe, oh no, this is what I meant with side to side. See, sometimes I write the program, and this is what I meant with side to side. <laughs> oh, Jamie, bless me. <laughs> 10 seconds. So you can jog, you can always walk too. That can be something. We're kind of walking or jumping in these intervals. Rest, all right, weighted cross body crunch. Taking this weight here, I'm gonna come down, excuse me, and lift, squat into that right leg, left leg. So I come down, you determine the depth, that right knee, right elbow, left elbow, opposite, exhale. Now, you determine the depth so you can be here, lift, or heel lift, getting into that rotation. Inhale, and exhale. If you want, you can bring it down a little bit. And in and out. Okay, so in and out without the rope. In, in, out, out, in, 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 out, out, in, in, out, out. So two feet, it just, it gets tr tricky. Okay, oh no, Jamie. Oh no, I didn't do this with the rope. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Without the rope, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, okay? If you want, in, out, in, out. I think this is the only way that you can do it with the rope. Don't quote me on that though, because maybe I'm not coordinated enough to do the other one. So, or maybe I have to go super fast. Oh yeah, Whoa. <laughs> not doing that. All right, 30 seconds, round two. Grab a drink, where's my water? Grab a drink, we got 20 seconds, we're gonna start with those hammer curls. Two hammer curls, um, two presses, 10 seconds. And this is what's fun about the way that I program these ones is we're at 12 minutes right now. So let's say you wanna fast forward to the cool down. You can fast forward to the cool down. Go ahead and do that. I want to make sure that you're cooling down though. Um, so don't just turn it off, but you can do two sets. You don't have to do the full half hour. One, and hammer curls lifting up. Presses here, down and up. And you can switch weights if you'd like. Like I'm gonna switch weights for that one. If you're grabbing heavier, lighter. All right, side to side jumps. Now that I know what that is. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you're so special. Okay, so without the rope, side to side, side to side. Without the rope, low impact. Without, with high, kind of hopping a little bit with the rope. Side to side. I'm kind of landing on one foot a little bit more than the other. See how I like heel up? Yeah, like that almost. That's exaggerated, but it's a little bit more like that. Side to side. And take a break anytime. Three, two. Whew. All right, now we got lunge to squat. Taking that weight, grabbing that weight in the middle, holding right off the chest. We're gonna come into knees aligned, like we're sitting in a chair, and then tap back, or squat, lunge. Vary the depth of that lunge, depending on what feels right for you today. I also always offer clients, if the reverse lunge feels off, bring it to a front lunge. If the front lunge feels off, if I'm ever offering you one or the other, go ahead and work with the pain-free one. And, all right, we got runners. So, without the rope, here, it's kind of like a sprint. 
Grabbing the rope. Here, sprint, sprint, sprint. And with the rope. Yeah, so you're really, so you gotta be kind of a little quicker with the rope. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know about you, but I am starting to smell. <laughs> You're like, nope, not me, Jamie. You can always walk this portion as well. Joggers, runners, here. Deadlift to upright row. We're gonna grab the weight. Da -da -da -da. Roll shoulders back. Knees are soft. This is not a knee dominant. We really wanna hinge at that hip here. So you're holding tennis balls underneath your armpits. That's a visual. And lift up. I think they use oranges a lot with cueing because oranges have like a little bit of give. And hopefully you're feeling this in your bottom as you come up, kind of spread those cheeks, lift up, exhale. And up and backs. All right, so up and backs. We talked about this without the rope. Up, up, back, back. That can be without the rope, that can be with the rope. Oh goodness, I gotta just get rid of that thing. Okay, so you can either come up, <laughs> which is totally what I'm gonna do, or you can up, Bring it forward and back. I think this is a better angle for you to see. I'm coming forward and back, or I can hop forward, hop back, make it a little less impact on there. See? You. All right, we're gonna come into the weighted sumo squat. Once I throw that thing on the side. <laughs> weighted sumo squat, grabbing the weight. Toes out, knees out, holding here, down, pushing through heels, midfoot coming down, and feeling the engagement of the quads as you lower down and as you lift up. You could also hold the weight here, make it more of a goblet sumo squat out here, down and up, and exhale, three. Why do I have only one? Oh, because it fell behind there. Jumps. All right, this is the freestyle one. This is, we're gonna do it. Feels good, you can be jump, you can be jump. You can be jiggle wiggle. You can walk it out. Here. Maybe you're here, maybe you're with the rope. Walking, walking, walking. We walk, we walk. And I like this, this rope, this jump rope. And squat, weighted squat, cross body crunch. So we're gonna take a weight, have it at our chest. We're gonna come into a squat, toes aligned with knees and then bring it cross body. So you determine the weight here. This doesn't have to be you working on strength, something challenging yet doable. Coming all the way up to that stand, but making sure that you're not jutting out like so. Exhale, cross down and cross. Making sure those kind of have equal pressures, feeling equal pressures in the feet. Good, in and out. All right, so in and out without, without the rope. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. You can walk it out, in and out, in and out. In and out with the rope is we're hopping because I can't do it fast enough. If you can do it, please. But I think that it would be real fast with the rope to do that. Oh no, oh no. Shoo is untied. Keep going, my friends. Or take a break, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> but 
Always make sure your shoe is tied. All right, 30 seconds, grab a drink. We have one more round of these exercises. And then we come into the cool down. Come into the cool down. 15 seconds, hammer curls, presses, last time. Yikes. Grab and wait. Let's try this one today. Yeah. We're gonna lift for two. Thumbs align, one, slowly bring it back down, two, and lift up, press. If you want, you can get a little help there from the knees. Sometimes you can take out the knees and sit down, and that's how you can remove that like little help that put the push press. But slowly lowering the weights back down, lifting up, lowering down with control. Every time that we do an exercise in this round, it's the last time. Side to side jumps. I really need to get a towel in here. Get my stash. All right, side to side. Here, without the rope. Here, lifting heels with the rope. I'm coming, I gotta, yeah, I always gotta do it for a little bit in the beginning. Ouch. Yikes! That hit, that slapped me. That is not fun. <laughs> it's like, cripes! Two, and all right. Lunge a squat last time doing this one. Again, come into a forward lunge. If a reverse is not feeling good today. So we're gonna come knee bend into that squat, knee dominant here in the squat, trying to make those knees line up with those toes like you're on railroad tracks coming into that lunge. You don't wanna be right behind. You wanna be about shoulder width apart. Down, stabilize. We tell people this is a balanced challenge coming into that lunge position. Again, if you want, come to that forward lunge. Forward lunge. And All right, let's see what we got here, what we got. Runners. So without the rope, da, 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 quick, you're running, you're jogging, you're walking. With the rope, you got speeds, speed, quick. You can even bring it up here, I guess. I say it like I guess. All I know is that before I filmed these, I'm gonna try to film one more after this. I went pee. That's really important. And you needed to know that. Okay, deadlift to upright row. Grabbing weights. Where did I grab Yeah, here. Rolling shoulders back. Hip hinge here. Knees aligned with toes. Coming down. Again, you can do the deadlift only or um, add that upright row. Forward and lifting up. Shoulder blades in place. Core is engaged, but not too rounded, not too arched. Oh, that wasn't good that I demonstrated that now. All right, up and backs, up and backs. So what we're gonna do here is no rope, up and back. And remember, if you want to add the rope, oh, here, I kind of got something rather than running up. See, so a lot of it is like experimentation. Or you can hop up and back. Forward back. Soft knees. Whew. Up and back. Weighted sumo squats. Last 
time we're doing all of these. What fun. Grabbing the weight, either horizontal, vertical, toes out, knees out, coming down, lowering down with control, lifting, pushing through those heels, midfoot. Feel the toes too, feel everything on like where you're putting that pressure. And exhale, coming up to stand, down. And up five seconds here. Pushing up, breathing. Awesome job, ragamuffins. Jumps. We got freestyle. I should name one. I'll, I'll name one on the next couple sessions. Pick your fave. Fan fave. Jumps. So, jumps can be here. Jumps can be here. Jumps can be here. Fan fave. Fan fave. So, and you can even go between, let's say you want to do 10 seconds of jumps, and that feels good for you today. You can go in between the two. We got 10 more seconds using the rope and not using the rope. If you have the rope, have the option. Woo! <laughs> Weighted squat, cross body crunch. Grabbing the weight. Holding it here, coming down, and cross crunch. Now, I lifted up my leg. You do not have to lift up your leg. You can be here starting into that rotation, maybe getting a little bit of balance there by that leg lift. Maybe you add a little bit more rotation with that weight. Exhale. Maybe you're diving. And All right. Got in and out. Last one and then we'll cool down. Ooh, why didn't I think of that? Try the cool down. Oh, I will. Haha. -ha. Okay. In and out. Without the rope. Without the rope. Without the rope, you can do that as well. With the rope. Oh my goodness. Cross, cross, oh, look how cool I am. Just kidding, got a little excited, okay. Oh no, I'm all phlegm below, below, but I just made up a word. Flues, fla flabbergasted, phlegm, phlegmy phlegm. All right, 30 seconds, grab a drink. We're about to cool down. Flamuxed? I feel like what I was trying to say was an F word, not that F word, but yeah, full monks feel like it's, it's work, but I know I'm saying it wrong. It has X's in it. Okay, side steps, five seconds, and then we'll do 30 seconds of each of these over, cooling it down, bringing that heart rate back down. Awesome job. Muffins, you all rocked as always. Side to side. Ten seconds, and then we're gonna come into a hip flexor stretch. So if you want, you can grab that mat. If you like to come into the half kneel stretch, if not, I always offer standing as well. I have a another one that's a bench hip flexor, but oops, tuck, coming back, tucking that hip, engaging the glute, or if you want, you can come into that half kneel. I show this on a bench too, but I don't have a bench. So if you feel stable, you can prop your knee up on a bench and do this as well. Really getting that side, maybe you put arm up here, open up that side body. And other side switch, toe comes back, tuck, pelvis. Squeeze glute, you can reach that hand up and over, or you can come down to that half kneel. Coming down here, I like a lot of padding on my knee. Whew, that was fun. I had fun, did you have fun? Three seconds. 
I know. Supported hamstring. So, come on to the wall here. Oh, I'm, I'm going to kind of rest on the wall, actually. Brought my buff booty back. Heel digs. Toe up. And other side. Hinge. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Switching. I forgot to tell you to switch at half. I did, and then I forgot to say it. My bad. All right. Right wall shoulder. So we're going to come over up here. Actually, if you have a rope, you can do this too. This is a good one. If you have the rope, you can pull back, open up this way, or you can come back single arm on the wall. Holding on, opening up that chest, squeezing the back. We can have like an active stretch here, squeezing the back. And we'll come into that other side switch. So I have my thumb up and my body's turned away. It would be nice if I had a clear wall here so I could show you there. <laughs> yeah, clear wall, it's very functional. Shower curtain. Oh, and then you can rock your neck as well, open up the neck a little bit. All right, calf rockers. So we're gonna come over to a wall hands on wall, forearms on wall, and come into a left rock and a right rock. Bringing that left heel down, that right heel down. Trying to get those calves after all that roping. Roping, scoping. And woo complete ragamuffins. You all rocked this number one jump for joy day one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Haha, <laughs> enjoy, enjoyed the jump for joy. I will be back with plenty more. We're gonna, I'm about to film round two, day two. All right, ragamuffins, movement for more, for joy. See y'all next time.